Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Story Time with the Fat Man. Let's get into it. Hey guys, <clears throat> so this story time is going to be a little bit different than the uh, other story times uh, in that it doesn't take place in one time period of my life, uh, but rather over several different time periods and we're going to kind of be uh, jumping around back and forth. But um, it is a good indication of food addiction, uh, my struggles with it. Uh, how I was reinforced, which is different, how I was reinforced um, from uh, outside people and, and things in my life uh, that, that kind of brought me to where I was uh, later on. Um, however, the first part of this uh, takes place in college. And uh, what you have to understand about uh, where I grew up, uh, I grew up in a very small town in Florida. Uh, so the high school I went to, uh, I went there with uh, several people, uh, a group of people, that I basically grew up with. So we all knew each other uh, from the time that we were uh, small children. And, um, you know, so we, we all we all went to that high school. We all graduated. We all kind of wanted to go to the same university. Uh, we applied. Most of us got in. And so we went to the same college as well. So we come into this college with a good, tight-knit group of, of people, uh, which really led to my undergraduate years being very... Um, uh, uh, very cool because it was just um, a kind of an extension uh, of of high school with with more freedom. Um, so it was uh, it was interesting. It was awesome. Uh, I didn't really have to make a lot of new friends. We did make a lot of new friends, but um, we didn't have to. We kind of came in with a group of people uh, to do stuff with. However, uh, there was one gentleman that comes to my mind often is uh, one of my friends named Bob. Uh, Bob was uh all kinds of awesome right he um you know i would say he uh, i believe he was like six foot two or six foot three weighed about 165 pounds uh so he's kind of skinny for for his height uh but this man could pack away food more than anybody i could see including me and i could pack away the food especially by college right because i was lifting i was a power lifter and all this stuff i could pack away food bob had me hands down right I really don't know how this man packed away all the food he packed away. But uh, Bob had this thing, right, as we all did in college, uh, where he wanted to get the most bang for his buck, right? Um, so college almost always meant some sort of buffet, right? Uh, so Bob uh, researched all the different places around the town that we went to the uh, college in, and he found the best bang for his buck. And what he would do is he would send an email out every so often, maybe twice or three times a month, He'd send the email out to all of us, and it would say, don't eat tomorrow, right? And, and basically what that meant was, Bob had something planned for us, right? Don't eat tomorrow because we're about to go someplace, and we're about to destroy it. I mean, absolutely wreck it. And one of the places we used to do this to on a regular basis was, at the time, a new uh, pizza company called CC's Pizza. And uh, CC's Pizza is relatively big now. It, it, you guys probably know know all about it. Uh, at the time, it really wasn't that big. But uh, for those of you that don't know, CC's Pizza is a um, like lowest de de denominator uh, pizza place um, that has basically all-you-can-eat pizza buffet. And back then, the all-you-can-eat pizza buffet was $2.99. And in Florida, I believe the sales tax was seven cents on the dollar. So we knew that we, we I mean, we knew exactly how much money we had to bring with us. And um, and so we would bring that exact amount. It was like $3 and some change. And we would, each of us, each of us, there would be like 10 of us. Each of us would bring that exact amount of money, right? We would get the CC's Pizza Buffet, right? This is after we've been told not to eat all day, right? So we would usually show up like around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And none of us have eaten at all. Ten college kids, <laughs> none of us have eaten all day long. We show up to CC's, we pay an exact change, every single one of us. We get a water cup, and we go to town. I'm telling you, one trip was enough to wipe out the entire buffet bar. We would go up there, and we'd wipe out the entire buffet bar. Nothing on the buffet bar, right? We would eat all of that. Then we would go up there and we would start ordering pizzas to be brought to the table, right? And we would get all these pizzas brought to the table. I'm telling you, it was, most of us had at least five to six plates worth of food down. I normally had somewhere close to 10 plates of food, 
Bob always had like 12 to 15 plates of food, right? I mean, he just piloted it on it. We did not discriminate. We ate everything there. Uh, these people uh, at CeCe's Pizza, I know they had to get to know us because we were there at least once a month. And uh, they, they must have absolutely hated us. But we would destroy this thing, right? And, uh, you know, as you can tell, uh, this type of thing, this is not a healthy eating behavior. But we would do it all the time, right? Because you're talking about being able to fill up an entire uh, uh, day's worth of food and probably two or three days worth of calories, right? But definitely an entire day's worth of food for $3, like 20 some odd cents, right? So, uh, as you can imagine, this was something that we really liked to do. Um, you know, and we eat other buffets and things too, right? But when we could do something like this, it was like a big deal for us, right? And, you know, we would, oh my God, we would go in there and absolutely destroy it. I used to feel bad. That's why we used to go at like 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon when nobody would be there because I used to feel bad if there were people there because there was no way anybody else was getting any food while we were there. Um, it was absolutely insane. But, uh, you know, and, and we used to do things like that, um, you know, like I said, uh, about once a month uh, to CC's, but, you know, usually once a week to different places. So another one that we used to like to hit up like that was Village Inn, right? Village Inn, for those of you that don't know, it's kind of like a, um, uh, I don't know, it's, um, I don't know how, it's like a huddle house. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a Waffle House, except bigger. You know, I don't know. It's whatever. It's a. It's primarily a breakfast place. I mean, they serve other things, lunch and dinner too. Um, but it's kind of just this like hole in the wall uh, breakfast place. And we would go there sometimes when they would do the unlimited pancakes, and Bob would stack pancake plates, right? And I was not somebody that could eat a lot of pancakes. First of all, I'm not like a big uh, person with sweets, so. Uh, pancakes come out, I eat maybe three or four plates of those, right? But Bob would easily eat ten plates of that, if not more. And I remember one time we got there, we were there for hours, and finally the lady had to come out, like the waitress had to come out and say, hey, guys, uh, the kitchen's closing, so, you know, if you need anything else, you need to order, like, right now. And Bob orders another stack. Bob's already had, like, ten plates of frickin', uh, pancakes, right? And he's ordered more, man. I don't know where the hell he's putting all this shit, right? Another place we used to absolutely dominate to the point that, like, we would be borderline asked to leave was endless pasta bowls at Olive Garden. I, I don't know what the hell these things, these places were thinking because we would show up, right? And it was our entire crew every time, like 10 people every time, right? We would show up, we would sit down, and, like, I remember endless pasta bowls, man. Dude. We would do silly shit with endless pasta bowls, right? Like, get fettuccine alfredo and Italian sausage. That doesn't even go together, man. We would just do it, right? Um, and all of us are going to town, right? Uh, and, and, oh, don't get me started on the breadsticks and everything there. We would go to town to the point that, like, the, the waiter would usually come by and drop those little subtle hints like, hey, guys, the fuck out of here, right? Um, you know, it was it was it was nuts, right? But we had that type of thing going on in college, uh, and there was nobody there to really police us, uh, especially like me. There was nobody there to police me and tell me, um, you know, to eat healthier, to do those types of things. It just didn't happen. I remember several times I would go to like uh, so I had this thing in college. It was like a meal plan, right? But it came with something called flex bucks, right? And flex bucks were basically just cash, right? So I had like, I think I had like five meals um, a week. Uh, and then I had a whole bunch of flex dollars. And so I'd eat like one meal a week. Um, and that was worked into it. And then I would get like flex dollars on top of that I could spend on anything. Uh, including like the little convenience store on, on campus. But I would go into this this like mess hall, the, the food court. And I remember the food court had... A um, Chick-fil-A, a Pizza Hut, and a Burger King, right? And um, I would hit up that Burger King, like, first thing. I'd jump into the line. I'd get, like, a double Whopper, right, with cheese, you know, of course, and a large fry, right? And I'd get that. Then I'd stop by the Chick-fil-A, dude, and I would get a chicken sandwich and a large waffle fry. Then I would slide the tray down to the Pizza Hut and get a pepperoni personal pan pizza, right? 
and then I would take all this food, and that would be lunch, man. That was lunch, dude. Um, it was crazy. It was crazy, the type of shit that I used to do in college. Um, and honestly, it's no wonder why uh, when I left college, uh, even when I came back to do my graduate degree, um, when I left it the first time, that I ended up starting to get big. Um, but I was, of course, working out this whole time, right? So a lot of this was kind of a delayed reaction. Right? I didn't really get very fat or anything, so I was, I was working it all out, as we all were, right? Like, it was not unusual for me to go to the gym two or three hours a day, then go to, like, intramural frisbee, um, you know, uh, and then intramural football and, and whatever, right? And do all these different things on top of that. Uh, so we were staying very, very active. But, um, you, you know, and, and all this kind of thing you say, oh, well, you kind of, he's kind of went a little nuts in college. And that's true, but it all started in high school too, right? So um, in high school, uh, you know, we had, it was not, like in high school, it was not unusual for me to go to like a McDonald's, right? And like I said, most of the time I was eating at the parents, or with the parents. So... Like, if I went to McDonald's, it was at lunch, right? And sometimes I would go to lunch and go to McDonald's and spend $10. Now, you got to understand, this is like the mid-90s, right? $10 at McDonald's in the mid-90s was like $15 now at Taco Bell, right? It was insane. So, uh, I would go there and I would get like two Big Macs, two super-sized fries, a 20-piece McNugget, um, you know, the sauces go along with that, a big-ass Coke, I would eat all of it and still be hungry. Um, you know, but I was working out, right? So, uh, you know, it honestly didn't matter. I remember, in fact, I remember one time I was with one of my friends, Jay, and we went to a KFC <laughs> and uh, pulled through the drive-thru and he ordered and uh, he just ordered like a, I don't know, like a number three, right? Like a ch chicken tenders meal or some shit like that. I pulled around and I, I forget what I ordered, Right? But I ordered the wrong number. I, I meant to order like uh, two or three, like an individual meal, whatever. Instead, I ordered a family meal. But I didn't know it was a family meal. Because the guy just goes, okay, what size do you want with that? I was like, mashed potatoes and gravy. And, um, you know, I, I forget what else I ordered. Uh, probably mac and cheese, right? And the guy was like, okay, that'll be like $16. And I remember thinking, 16 bucks, bro. For a little individual meal? I don't know, man. Whatever. So we pull around. I give him the money. He hands me bags and bags and shit. And I'm like, bro, what the hell? My friend Jay's like, what the fuck did you order? I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. But I already paid. So, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll go at it. Right? I eat the whole damn family meal. Just me. Just me. Ate the whole damn family meal. Uh, there was another time that we went with, that I went with Jay to Wendy's, and we just ordered regular shit. I think he got like a number, uh, I don't know, two, and I got like a number six or something like that at Wendy's. I don't remember what those are. But uh, we ordered regular stuff, and then this lady just hands us like four bags of food. Right? And we're like, um, I don't really know if this is ours. And she's like, yeah, it's yours. I'm like, okay. So we left with like four bags of food. I'm talking about like four or five burgers, like six or seven different uh, chicken nuggets, like like five or six fries. It was insane. We ate it all. We ate all of it. And uh, I, I mean, that was just like a normal thing, right? So you can kind of see how in high school, as I'm doing this kind of stuff, right? I'm starting to get to a point where I, I'm doing this on a regular basis. And then it just kind of carried forward into, um, into college, man. And we started doing all kinds of crazy shit in college like this, right? In fact, it kind of became like a game, right? It kind of became this game between all of us. Like, let's see uh, how much food we could get for as little as possible. And I'm going to tell you, we found some crazy ways to do it, man. I mean, we found um, this social board at college uh, that kind of listed all the different social events that were going on every single day and we would go on that board and we would hunt all the ones that had free food at it even if we didn't really like the food we would go there and just absolutely decimate the food 
Um, it was ins it was insane. <laughs> I don't really know why that was like that, but we used to do that. So then, obviously, when I graduated, I got a job, and I couldn't start doing these things anymore. Uh, I already had, you know, I couldn't work out as much as possible. Um, so I already had this eating habit, and I just kept doing it. Um, it, it just, it kind of got out of control, man. And, uh, you know, I, it just, it just, it just exploded, guys. Um, but yeah, this wasn't, this wasn't something that was unusual. Yeah, guy, just looking at my notes, that's about all I got on this one, right? But, um, hopefully you guys can see where, um, all this stuff kind of started, right? High school, carried into college, carried into life after college. And really caused problems, um, you know. So, so I'm I'm, I'm hoping that you guys uh, can see that. Um, maybe you've had some similar types of things happen to you. I, I don't know. Um, you know, let me know how what you're thinking, man. Uh, you know, if you liked what's going on, like and subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know. Uh, you know, if you have questions for me or something that you want to spur a story time or something like that with. Uh, let me know, guys. Anyway. Uh, that's the story time for now. Um, as you guys know, I'm traveling. Uh, so Thursday's video might be late, might be on Friday. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do that anyway, only because I'd like to recap kind of what happened on my uh, travel on that day. And then we'll have a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday video uh, kind of back to back to back. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what's going on. Thanks again for all your support. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.